my kitchen and welcome to my channel cake i'm your hostess suzanne today we are going to make those gluten-free peanut butter only three ingredient cookies i've been promising you they couldn't be easier if you want to know how i made them and how you can make them too just keep watching Okay, let's go ahead and get started with our gluten-free peanut butter cookies. These things could not be easier. I teased this recipe on my Facebook page a couple months ago. I am so sorry it's taken me so long to get to this video, but trust me, you're going to love these cookies and you're gonna love me for giving you the recipe. <laughs> it's super easy. I did preheat my oven to 350 degrees. I already have my pans ready to rock and roll. I just have silicone pads on them. If you don't have the silicone pads, you can use parchment paper. If you don't have that, you can just use some nonstick spray, just something to keep those cookies from sticking on there. Here we go. Three ingredients for the, for the recipe, only three. You can remember this one. You won't even have to write this one down. It's that easy. We're gonna start off with one cup of sugar. Here we go. We're putting it in our stand mixer. Oh my goodness, that was a third of the recipe. I think I need to take a nap now. <laughs> the next ingredient is creamy peanut butter. I just love the Jiffy brand. I have loved this brand forever, so I continue to use it. I don't find anything I like any better, so <laughs> go ahead and put one cup of peanut butter. So one cup of sugar, one cup of peanut butter. And that looks about right to me. Go ahead and stick that in there with the sugar. Plop, plop, and it goes. If you can hear the windmill, it's a little bit windy out today. It's so beautiful in Arizona today, you guys. I don't know what we did to deserve this weather, but it is amazing. Not even 90 degrees today again, nice and sunny. A little bit overcast, but beautiful. Not that you guys need to know the weather where I'm at, but. <laughs> Okay, the third and last ingredient in this gluten-free peanut butter cookie recipe is one egg. So one cup of sugar, one cup of creamy peanut butter, and one egg. That's all it takes. <laughs> I was really skeptical on this recipe. I'm like, what can it hurt? It's one cup of peanut butter, one cup of sugar, and one egg. That's not a whole lot of money if it's not going to work. But I thought I'd give it a try, and I love them. The first time I made this recipe, I did one pan with it just plain like it is now. Just the peanut butter, sugar, and egg. Really good. Then the next part of it, I added some mini chocolate chips in there and made a batch of that with just the chocolate chips. Then I added pecans and completed the rest of the cookies. They are so amazing. This time and then from then on, I have just always added the mini chocolate chips and the pecans in there. I think they are just delicious that way. You can add whatever you want. You can add coconut, you can add anything you want. Peanut butter chips, that's the beauty of baking, you guys. You just have your base recipe, then you can add what you want to that to your liking. Let's go ahead and add this egg in. Stop my jibber jabbering. <laughs> and that's all it is. One cup of peanut butter, one cup of sugar, and one egg. Could not be easier. Okay, now that we have everything in there, we're gonna go ahead and give it a mix. You just wanna mix until it's all combined. That looks good. There is the basis of your gluten-free peanut butter cookie recipe. So good, you guys. I'm gonna do the rest of the recipe with the spatula, so I'm gonna go ahead and take it off of the stand. I have a daughter-in-law who is gluten-free, so I have been testing out some recipes for her, and she loves these cookies. Made her a batch for Easter. <laughs> If you are a subscriber and you're back for another one of my videos, thank you so much for coming back. It means the world to me, it really does. If you're new to my channel and haven't yet subscribed, please consider doing so. It is super quick and it's easy and most importantly, it is free. It's just a couple clicks. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up. And if you have anything you'd like to say to me, please go ahead and use that comment section down below, okay? Let's go ahead and doctor up these gluten-free peanut butter cookies with only three ingredients. The most simple cookie recipe in the world. <laughs> and I have here a half a cup of pecans and a half a cup of mini chocolate chips. Again, do whatever your heart desires. This is just how I like them. Go ahead and give those a little mixy.
In true peanut butter cookie fashion, I'm going to use the sugar with a fork crisscross on top of each one. Let's go ahead and get some cookie sheets filled up with the cookie dough. Yum, yum. Isn't that beautiful? For this recipe, I like to use my medium cookie scoop. As you can probably see here, it's the one I use most and I need to get a new one because it's kind of wonky. <laughs> it still works, that's why I still have it. <laughs> Go ahead and press it against the side because I want each cookie to be about the exact same size. Go ahead and stick it on there. Now this cookie is not gonna be nice and fluffy, but it's chewy, but yet soft. I, it's hard, it's a hard one to describe. It's, it's really good. You really won't believe it until you try it out. I hope you give it a try. If you do give this a try, go ahead and take a picture of it or just let me know down in the comment section that you tried it and let me know how you feel about them, okay? Love to hear. Or if you have any gluten-free recipes that you want to share with me, I would love to have them from you. If you want me to videotape me making them, that would be great as well. Just let me know, okay? And go ahead and take my fork and do a little crisscross like that. That signifies it's a peanut butter cookie, doesn't it? <laughs> I don't know if this has always been the case or it's just my era that did this. I think it's always been the case, but I have, don't think I've had a peanut butter cookie without this crisscross hashtag, hashtag cookies, that's what I should call them. The hashtag gluten-free peanut butter cookies. How'd you guys like the last recipe I gave you? The cheesecake Oreo cookies? Oh my goodness, they're so good. Let me know if you've tried those yet. Again, it's another cookie recipe, just a few ingredients. I love these recipes. A lot of things you bake have like 13, 20, 35. <laughs> items in it and it's like oh my goodness you take 25 minutes just taking everything out of the cupboard or the refrigerator it's like holy guacamole i'm kind of liking these quick easy ones <laughs> they're nice for when you're in a hurry i'm gonna go ahead and stick these in the oven i'll be right back in a second i just took these out of the oven they were in there for 11 minutes they look delicious I will let these cool on their cookie sheet for another 10 minutes and after 10 minutes I'll take them off the cookie sheet onto the cooling racks themselves and let them come to complete room temperature. Oh my goodness they turned out so good. I love these cookies and they could not be easier and they're gluten free. I'm having an amazing day. I hope you are as well. Until next time, make it a great day. And made the last of my cookie dough. I mean, then I added pecans. The pecans. Then I added. <laughs> then I added pecans, and I made the rest of the dough with the. I don't know what we did to get dessert. I don't know what we did to do. To, 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 to do. Piper, no. No, ma'am. No! I just took them out of the oven there. It, oh, the words are not flowing out of my mouth tonight. This recipe makes exactly, well, I probably should have counted before I told you this. So two, four, six, eight, eight plus eight times three is 24. This recipe makes about 25 cookies. <laughs> oh, okay, let's go ahead and start that one over. 